Hi, I'm Chef Eric of Evo Restaurant to Cuesta, Florida, and this is my good friend Roly Massimino, coach of Northwood University. We're going to show you how to make my veal Evo in an aged balsamic cream sauce served over broccoli rab. So stay tuned. No wonder I eat this so often. Look at the size of me. But it's great. Welcome back. I'm Chef Eric of Evo Restaurant in Tequesta. Today I have a special guest with me, Coach Roly Massimino of Northwood University. He's going to help me cook one of my signature dishes here at Evo, and it's a veal scallopine with three different kinds of mushrooms in an aged balsamic cream sauce. Well, let's go. Let's get ready. Well, then let's go. Uh, how we're going to start today is, first off, you want a hot pan. I'm going to go through some of the uh, ingredients that I use. Um, we're starting actually with a uh, uh, veal top round, milk-fed veal top round, which is one of the finest and most tender veals to start any veal dish with. Then I'm going to get some extra virgin olive oil into the hot pan. Nice, beautiful in color. Look at that. How about that? Nice, huh, Raleigh? Two big veal pieces, I see. That's it. Chef Eric. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Then what we're going to do is wait till it's nice and... I got it to a... Uh, you want it between medium and high. You don't want it smoking because the flour that you want the flour on the veal to actually hold in the moisture of the juices of the, of the meat. And what you could also do in the same sense is burn the flour on the meat, which you don't want. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start by searing off just like that. You see the, the, the boiling and the steam coming off of it. So what we're going to do is sear. Listen to that. I like that nice sound. Time. I like that That's sound. That's beautiful. All right. I always like to season a little bit of salt. As it's cooking in the hot olive oil, the meat will actually absorb the seasonings. Anything that you put in at this point, the meat or fish or whatever you're cooking is actually going to... How long you cook that for? This uh, approximately one minute on each side. Okay. All right, so you almost get like a crispiness on the side of the veal. I wish I could teach our basketball players how to play in one That's minute. That's it. You're cooking it in one minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Once we get a nice sear, I'm going to flip it over. You can see that there's a brownness and there's a crunchiness to the flour. And that's also, you see that nice white color from the veal. That's how you know that you're using actually milk-fed veal. All right, right now I'm going to use some sweet red shallots. What was it going to dump right in here? You want to make Not sure on top, just around the around side. Around the side, so I they, see. what the, the terminology they use is caramelize or become translucent. Those words are a little too big for me. I know, well, hey. <laughs> you're, you're, the, you're the college uh, scholar. Here we go. I'm going to season again a little bit of salt. Now, what I'm doing at this point is, in the hot olive oil, all the flavors are going to be drawn from the meal. It's going to be part of the actual olive oil at this point. So I have three different types of mushrooms. I have a cremini, a portobello, and a shiitake mushroom. Very all right? good. They all very three good. give off a very unique and distinct flavor. I rough cut them so you can pick up the texture later on in the dish. That's good, that's good. And then from there? From there, Carol, what we're going to do, as you can see, that's why I wanted to start with the amount of olive oil that I did, is because mushrooms hold a lot of the moisture. You can see that, the moisture, and the oil gonna, is, exactly. is and draining. It's, and what it's doing now is it's going to suck these mushrooms with the onions, are going to pull all the flavor down. Let's see. You see that? How about that? How nice is that? And, how sweet it is! How sweet it yeah, is! How Raleigh. sweet it is! I love it. Now I want to let it just sit for a second. Now, what this is doing is it's going to start the base of my sauce, which I'm going to show you in a second. All these flavors will come together at the end, and we're going to let it simmer and um, hit it with a little bit of cream to neutralize everything that I put in. Right here, what I have this is a 15-year aged balsamic vinegar from Modena, Italy. All right, the best. Rolly knows that. Nice Actually, Rolly really thinks anything from Italy is the best. <laughs> Which it usually, usually is. Too bad right. they can't yeah. play. <laughs> so what That's I'm going to do now, Rolly, I'm going to take some of this, 
I'm going to incorporate it into the dish. You see how thick it is? Yes, very thick. How about that? That's from the aging in the oak barrels that they use in Italy. You smell it? Very much so. All right. Now what I'm doing is... Now you really getting, brown it, huh? Yeah, now it's now everything. You can flip this over. You can see the darkness. Very nice. Okay. Very what I'm going to do is season a little bit more with salt. I'm actually no, going to get cream, this. Man. This is 40% uh, heavy cream. What it's going to do is neutralize the oil, neutralize the balsamic vinegar, let it simmer for a couple of minutes, and what it's going to do is actually it's going to pull together the entire dish and, and tighten it up. Now, while this is simmering, we're going to put Raleigh to work. Okay? 